It's clear sky, sunshine, hardly a cloud, and it's raining. I'm getting rained on. What's up with that? They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motor vlogs. Well, hello, YouTube. This is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing. It's Saturday, and it's a beautiful Saturday. About 75 degrees, clear skies and rain. Explain that to me. It's raining, and there's not a cloud, hardly a cloud in the sky. Look at this. It's really weird. So I may have to dry off my GoPro lens here in a second. I cannot believe it's raining. Well, I guess it just goes to show you never know what the weather's going to do in Texas. I went out thinking it was going to be a beautiful sunny day to do a motor vlog and damned if it didn't start raining on me. I pulled into a gas station just to dry off the windshield and make sure my GoPro lens was not didn't have water spots on it because I don't even have the waterproof case on. I've just got the regular little frame around it. But anyway, that's not going to deter me. It's still going to be a beautiful day for a ride. Since we uh, got back into the country, I've had a couple of motor vlogs. I've talked to you a couple of times. But since uh, April 15th, I looked it up the other day, I've posted eight new videos to YouTube and six new videos to our Goldwing Maintenance Series. So that's 14 videos in about 13 days. I think that's a new record for me. And so, uh, tons and tons of editing. Uh, had to tear the bike apart to do all the installations. I've already talked to you about some of this. And uh, so, you know, the new videos out there right now are the uh, this Pathfinder LED brake light, sequential turn signal, mounts under your luggage rack, and I love it. I have felt vulnerable on this new 2018 Goldwing ever since I got it just because the brake lights and tail lights are down so low on the saddlebags compared to the other Goldwing. But this new light from Pathfinder LED solves that problem. It's just a great tool, a great addition, and I'm very pleased with it. I also have a couple of videos for the Can-Am Spider. I did a fog light video for show chrome accessories. Some of you guys out there have Can-Ams or have Spiders. And uh, so I did a video for them, did a video for F4 Customs, tried out three different windshields and kind of reviewed them. And I also did a motor vlog uh, on the Can-Am Spider. My first time, kind of, a, oh, kind of a mini review of the Spider and what I thought of it. i uh, never ridden one before and it was a little different. I got a lot of criticism from some of the Can-Am uh, faithful and they uh, really did not like my critique of the handling of the Can-Am Spider and I, I thought I was pretty clear in the video that, you know, it just takes getting used to. For, if you're coming off of two wheels and you get onto this Can-Am Spider, it's just a whole different feel. It just handles so different. And I can see how in the right hand somebody knows what they're doing, it'd be a really nice handling machine. But um, that was just my first impression. So that's what I went with. But uh, it felt a little bit like riding a snowmobile that had uh, wheels instead of skis. But uh, it was a different, a different experience for sure. But uh, not too bad. You know, I, I, in talking about these Can-Am guys, I'm gonna lower my face shield. I've noticed a few uh, critiques lately, and maybe that's just a symptom of success on YouTube. Maybe you start getting more criticism. But um, I saw one guy the other day uh, slamming me for how I rode the tail of the dragon, that I need to get, you know, go to Switzerland and learn from these people that ride the Alps all the time. And he was critiquing my riding style and my riding technique. And, you know, I told the guy, hey, Give me a break, man. I'm from Dallas. 
The closest thing we have to a twisty here is the drive through at Wendy's. I mean, what I have coming up right ahead, that's a twisty here. So, it's not like I have a lot of practice riding uh, switchbacks and, you know, beautiful mountain roads like a lot of people. Here it's pretty much straight out. Flat, straight, and pretty much ugly for the most part. But anyway, I guess now's as good a time as any to say if you like my videos, if you like these motive vlogs and you want more of them, click that little subscribe button down below and click on the little bell if you want YouTube to notify you when we come up with new videos. And please take a moment to share these videos with your friends through your other social media channels, either through YouTube or Facebook or email, however you want to share them, just share them because with the more subscribers we have, the better it is for everybody. The more I'm able to do. Also, a lot of you reacted uh, to my last video where I talked about my new Amazon page, and a lot of you must have gone there and looked at it, uh, where I've put together a bunch of tools that I use and things that Amazon sells. I'll put that address at the top and in the description. So tell me what you think in the comments down below about people who are really, really critical and sometimes even a little nasty on YouTube or Facebook or any of these uh, social media channels or venues, I should say. I just don't get it. I've never, I don't think I've ever written anything negative about anybody on social media because I figure if I don't like what they have to say or how they do things, I just don't say anything. I just, maybe I don't go back to their channel. But um, a nice little triumph over here on the left. Those are good looking bikes. I really like them. I wish I could uh, justify having a second or third bike and it'd probably be something like a Triumph. I love that old school look. Hey, if any of you guys have Triumphs or any of these old school looking bikes, put that in the comments down below. I'd like to hear about it. Now I'm trying to get set up here pretty soon to take a road trip out to West Texas to see my brother I was going to go last week, but turns out he ended up in the hospital with some complications related to pneumonia. He had some fluid around his lungs they had to uh, drain off, and he ended up being in the hospital for two weeks. So, not good, but he's back home, back at work, and uh, he's a graphic designer and photographer and does a lot of creative stuff. He's uh, back, back in charge of his business again. Going to make the best of this, what's left today. We did a little ride the other day to another GWRRA meeting. Don Smith came by the house, and he and I worked a little bit on the computer. He's helping me with some uh, motion techniques that I use on my videos. And uh, we rode together, rode out to the GWRRA meeting in Grapevine, Texas. And they were kind enough to let me get up and make a short presentation on Cruise Man's Garage. And most of the guys there already knew who I was. They knew me. They knew of me. I was surprised how many 2018 Goldwings were there. I think we had five 2018 Goldwings at the meeting. That was pretty impressive. So if you are a member of GWRRA, and, or if you go to the local chapter meetings, let me know that in the comments down below. I'm just curious how many of you guys are actually members of GWRRA. And that's what the comments are for. I love hearing your comments and reading what you have to say. And I get a lot of emails too, by the way. I get a lot of posts on my website, cruisemansgarage.com. And a lot of people post into the comment section there and that sends me an email. I can't answer every email. Um, I know I saw some criticism I got the other day from somebody on Facebook saying they sent me an email and they hadn't heard back from me. And I probably get 10 to 15 emails a day and I really do try to get back with as many people as possible, but sometimes they slip through the cracks and I can't get back with everyone so if you've sent me an email uh, and I have not replied to you I apologize I sure uh, try to 
But anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. On the next Motor Vlog, I've got some very exciting news. We're going to have a new special promotion coming up on our maintenance videos starting in May. And I don't ever tell somebody not to buy my product. But I will tell you, if you're considering or thinking about buying my maintenance video series, the videos on demand, hold off for a couple of days because we're going to have a special promotion that I'm going to announce in the next motor vlog. And it's pretty cool. So I think it'll be worth the wait if you hold off a couple of days. We've got a new thing that we're doing that uh, I think you're going to like. So that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.